And here is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday, September the 19th, 2021. It was on this day, 1796, President George Washington gave his farewell address in which he urged Americans to relinquish their personal or geographical interests for the good of the national interest and warned against partisanship. It was on this day, 1819, John Keats, 24 years old, wrote his poem, which begins, Season of mists and mellow fruitfulness, close bosom friend of the maturing sun, conspiring with him how to load and bless with fruit the vines that round the thatch eaves run, to bend with apples the mossed cottage trees and fill all fruit with ripeness to the core. His ode to autumn. It was a productive year for John Keats, 1819. He wrote his Ode to a Nightingale, Ode to a Grecian Urn, Ode to Psyche, all in that year. Died two years later at the age of 25. 1900 on this day in Winnemucca, Nevada, Butch Cassidy, the Sundance Kid, committed their first robbery. They got $32,640 from the First National Bank. They robbed it at midday. And as they fled, they dropped a sack of gold by a creek and they had to go back and retrieve it. It's the birthday of the essayist Roger Angel, born in New York City, 1920 known for his essays about baseball. He said, It is foolish and childish on the face of it to care so much about a professional sports team, but, he says, it's the business of caring, caring deeply and passionately, really caring, which is a capacity or an emotion that has almost gone out of our lives. It no longer matters so much what the caring is about, how frail or foolish is the object of that concern, as long as the feeling itself can be saved. Roger Angel wrote an essay a few years back about getting older called This Old Man, in which he said, We're invisible, honored, respected, even loved, but not quite worth listening to anymore. You've had your turn, Pops. Now it's ours. And it's the birthday of the pathologist Elizabeth Stern Shankman, born in Cobalt, Canada, 1915, one of the first scientists specializing in cytopathology, the study of diseased cells. Here's a poem for today, a poem by Eleanor Lerman, entitled Small Talk. It is a mild day in the suburbs, windy, a little gray. If there is sunlight, it enters through the kitchen window and spreads itself, thick as a napkin, beside the coffee cup, pie on a plate. What am I describing? I am describing a dream in which nobody has died. These are our mothers, your mother and mine. It is an empty day. Everyone else is gone. Our mothers are sitting in red chairs that look like metal hearts, and they're smoking. Your mother is wearing sandals and a skirt. My mother is thinking about dinner, the bread, the meat. Later, there will be no reason to remember this, so remember it now. A safe day, time passes into dim history, and we are their babies, sleeping in the folds of the wind. Whatever our chances, these are the women. Such small talk before life begins. A poem by Eleanor Lerman, Small Talk, from The Sensual World Reemerges, published by Saraband Books and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.